Because many would suggest this is strong political messaging, uh, signaling where the Bharatiya Janata Party is concerned, especially to the SC and the STs and the OBC community. I'll just give you an example. The state of Maharashtra, uh, the SCST vote about 11%, while uh, if you actually look in terms of uh, the OBC, it's about 50% where the OBC vote is concerned. Coming off from what happened in 2024 Lok Sabha, especially in the state of Maharashtra, where you had the entire poll narrative of the India Alliance with Samvidhan Khatre Mehair, with a portion of the Dalit votes going in uh, to the India vote bank. This is an attempt clearly by the Bharatiya Janata Party to consolidate. The India Alliance says not consolidate, but polarize the electorate. Which one it is? Uh, let's take the question directly to our panelists this evening. Joining me, Sanju Varma, national spokesperson, Bharatiya Janata Party, Arshdeep Khatyal. Uh, he's also with us. And uh, Arshdeep Khatyal, spokesperson, Congress, Ashutosh, author and political analyst, Shantanu Gupta, political analyst and author. Um, Sanju Varma, to begin with you, strong opposition commentary on a statement which started off with Yogi Adityanath at the back of what went down in Bangladesh, then quickly adopted into the political landscape of UP, reverberated in Haryana and now consolidated with not just the Prime Minister, but the RSS, even Mr. Bhagwat coming out and supporting it. You know, Preeti, I'm not going to be diplomatic, though that is not one of my strong suits. Let's be very clear about a couple of things. You know, I remember in the run-up to the Lok Sabha 2024 polls, Maria Alam, the niece of Salman Khurshid, who's been a former minister in the UPA, what did she say? She, with brazen impunity, said, let's engage in vote jihad. Muslims should vote for Muslims to wipe out the existence of Sanghis. Otherwise, these Sanghis will ensure that we never come back to power. And, you know, the so-called secular rati, be it Rahul Gandhi, Priyanka Vadra, Sonia Gandhi, these people have an opinion on everything under the sun. They consume favicol in wholesale, basically silently endorsing Maria Alam's call for a vote jihad. Very recently, just three days back, what did Rashid Alvi say? He's a senior Congress leader uh, who's been in uh, politics for the longest time. He said that, you know, why are Hindus protesting against the demolition of an illegal mosque in Uttar Kashi? He admitted that the protests are pertaining to an illegal mosque. He said, yadi har illegal mosque ke ye Hindu protest karne lage, to Bharat mein civil war ho jayega. And what did Rashid Alvi say as recently as 18th of October 2024, barely a few days back, Giriraj Singh and our MP from Bihar, Pradeep Singh, they conducted a Swabhiman Yatra in Bhagalpur. And what did Rashid Alvi say? Yes, Swabhiman Yatra nahi hai. This is a hate rally. More importantly, let's not forget that in the run-up to Lok Sabha 2019, this is a video that has gone viral on social media and keeps popping up on all our timelines every now and then. Malik Arjun Kharge, he's today the Congress president, but even then he was not a small entity. He clearly says, Modi ko hatana hai, yadi Modi 2019 mein wapis so, this Hindu Rashtra ban jayega. And Shashi Tharoor, you know, very generously uses the term Hindu Taliban. And Sushil Kumar Shinde is on record saying that he was asked to implicate the BJP okay. slash RSS and talk about saffron terror in the aftermath of the 26-11 Mumbai terror attack. Do you need any more endorsement or proof that not only Muslim appeasement, but the Congress and its rank okay. and file is Hindu phobic? So, why should we not talk about batenge to katenge? including Ashutosh, who will now start saying, oh, BJP is communal, oh, BJP is divisive, oh, BJP okay. engages in polarization. Matlab, aap karo to sahi hai. Hum hinduon ko bole, ek jut ho jau, to aapke peet mein ubal uthta hai. It's not going to happen that way. You can't have your cake okay. and eat it too. All right. Okay. You know, but, but Sanju Varma, um, a Maria Alam and a Rashid Alvi is uh, not a senior leader of the India Alliance, nor was it the poll narrative when India went to elections in terms of the bloc where I'm talking about, where 2024 was concerned. So difference there, but I want to bring in Arshdeep Khadiyal. Arshdeep Khadiyal, you know, this is politics. This is how narratives are spun. And this is how you consolidate vote banks. What's so wrong in what the BJP is doing? Well, a sitting CM saying, batenge to katenge, 
and then being supported by the senior leaders of the Bharatiya Janata Party, being supported by the RSS, is basically the death of our democracy. This one is an offence, and FIR should be registered, and this should be done in a time-bound way. Section 153A IPC needs to be looked at, which says promoting enmity between different groups, and that is exactly what the Bharatiya Janata Party's leaders are trying to do. And this is not the first time that they have done it. Before this, Desh ke gadaro ko aage ek aur even speak. Then uh, there was another uh, statement given during elections by a senior BJP leader. Uh, Petiye guse hue hai, jinke bache zada hote hai. I want to know from the Bharatiya Janata Party, uh, who are you trying to uh, insinuate? Uh, who are you trying to suggest? Uh, Koi kaatega aur koi bat raha hai? And number two, another statement is: Ek rahenge to nek rahenge, surakshit rahenge. If in the last ten years of the Bharatiya Janata Party's government, people are still not feeling safe and their rights are not safeguarded, that goes on to suggest you have given a certificate of failure to yourself. That in the last ten years you could not even ensure safety and security of these people. And not just that, we want to know as to why till date no action has been taken because this is actually dividing people. Angrez to chale gaye, Gore to chale gaye, lekin na piche Bharatiya Janata Party reh gayi hai. और हम भारतीय जनता पार्टी से ये पूछना चाहते हैं कि भारतीय जनता पार्टी विल एक्ट और नॉट द लीडर्स दैट हैव मेड डिवाइसिव रिमार्क्स बिकॉज़ बैक इन द डे मेनी स्टेटमेंट्स हैव बीन मेड बाय द बीजेपी लीडर्स दे हैव गॉन स्कॉट फ्री बट व्हेन अ रिपोर्टर व्हेन एन एक्टिविस्ट मेक्स इवन 10% ऑफ अ स्टेटमेंट दैट द बीजेपी लीडर्स बीन मेकिंग दे गेट एक्शन टेकन अगेंस्ट दे आर थ्रोन बिहाइंड बार्स देयर अकाउंट्स आर सस्पेंडेड द चैनल्स आर ब्लॉक्ड एंड व्हाट नॉट सो द भारतीय जनता पार्टी नीड्स टू कम अंडर द ब्रैकेट ऑफ इक्वालिटी एंड एक्शन नीड्स टू बी टेकन बाय द लीडर्स All right, Ashutosh. Uh, you know, coming to you and also bringing in Shantanu Gupta into this conversation. The fact is, Ashutosh. Let's look at what happened and let's look at this as from the purview of a political analyst, which is 2024. The India blocs make significant gains where the SC community is concerned under the banner of uh, Samvidhan Khatre Me Hai, and we saw that in terms of numbers filter in. Would you see if it is just politics? This is astute political uh, messaging. By the BJP, and of course bolstered by the RSS at the back. Uh, see, Priti, there are the two things which I want to say. First of all, uh, this is nothing else but extension of 2024 campaign which the BJP has launched, and uh, because they lost badly in Maharashtra in parliamentary elections, so they want to uh, gain some some ground over there. You remember what was said during the parliamentary elections? It was said, "Khuspatiye, Sharia Kanun, Desh me lagu ho jayega." सारी बातें कही गई बट वॉट हैपन इन महाराष्ट्र नथिंग सो बीजेपी इफ वॉन्ट्स टू बिन महाराष्ट्र देन इट हैज टू फोकस ऑन द रियल इशूज दीज दीज कैंपेन विल नॉट ब्रिंग एनी काइंड ऑफ डिविडेंड बिकॉज इफ यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट 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 कास्ट लेट्स टेक इट माई पॉइंट इज सिंपल हिंदूज कैन नेवर बी यूनाइटेड एज लॉन्ग एज देर इज अ कास्ट स्ट्रक्चर and this is not me saying this is baba saab ambedkar in his famous book annihilation of caste has categorically said and the book is right in front of me he said only when hindu society becomes a casteless society that it can hope to have strength enough to defend itself this is baba saab ambedkar last sentence in his in this book where he categorically says that unless hindu society is a casteless society it can never defend itself now the issue is every election every political party every political leader lied to his teeth because no election is possible without uh, without managing caste even okay. in hindu society no marriage is possible without managing caste so now if society is divided on such a large scale on the name of caste Now, it's just because yogi adityanath is saying batenge to katenge so everybody will come to, together and from tomorrow onwards the upper caste will start getting married getting inter caste marriages will happen between is it going to happen no it is not going to happen so we have to understand this as long as there is a caste structure in the hindu society there is no okay. possibility of hindus getting united so this slogan has no meaning at all Well, you you don't quite know, uh, you know, on how it actually reverberates uh, where these elections are concerned, Ashutosh. So maybe we'll hold our jury till the time that uh, you know vote is counted, can especially I, if we see. Can I five seconds? Five seconds. Sir, only five seconds. Minute? See, if you, I'll come if you, and I'll bring in Shantanu uh, Gupta, and then you can come. If you, in. if you, if you look at the CSDS data, very categorically, CSDS data said the upper caste 
almost votes 80 percent for the BJP. Yes. 80 percent Muslim votes. So we'll have to. That's exactly my point, Ashutosh. We'll have to wait for. We will have to wait for the data post poll to understand whether it's worked or not. Is my limited submission. But Shantanu Gupta, to bring you in on this and to flip it around a bit because it's really interesting. It's come from somebody you've studied very closely, and that is Yogi Adityanath. And uh, somewhere down the line, now to have the RSS echo it, not at just one level, but directly from the top, reverberating down, the Prime Minister endorsing it, and you can actually hear it right now on ground where Maharashtra, Jharkhand is concerned. It does seem, Shantanu Gupta, that uh, where the Saffron Brigade is concerned, the Hindu Hridesh Samrat is now Yogi Adityanath. Uh, see, Preeti, I can't uh, understand in my lifetime that how a call to come together can be a problem for anyone, right? You remember when we were growing up, at least when I was growing up, I remember, Doordarshan used to play this very, very, very sweet clip, Ek Chidiya, Anek Chidiya, right? And then you say, ye, ye, ye paach, paach hai. when they come together, mutthi mein taakat hai. Yogi Adhanath is saying, when you come together, why, why is someone has a problem of people coming together? I'm bachpan se padre, cast, cast, uh, uh, Ashutosh ji, who is the master of selective uh, quoting, he also quoted, even Baba Ram Ambedkar said, but Baba Ram Ambedkar also said that for, for, for Muslim people, Islam is far more bigger than the nation, right? CSJ survey also, also said that 90% Muslim people vote in a certain category. So if that's a vote bank, someone is asking a community to come in together, what's the problem? He's just saying coming together. And in the same breath, we are not saying what Sajjad Numani in Maharashtra said. Sajjad Numani is saying that this seat is Muslim hai, and voting should come uh, in this fashion. Mahbub Ali, uh, MLA of Samajwadi Party, is saying Muslim population is increasing. But just by the weight of Muslim population, we will win the 2020, uh, 2027 uh, uh, Vidhan Sabha election of UP. Abu, Abu, Abu Azmi is saying Samajwadi Party uh, leader in Maharashtra. Abu Azmi, when Akhilesh Adiv is standing, art MLA is going to win the MLA, no one can do anything. Then we are not debating. Then we say, oh, that's fine. That's a very natural thing. When Yogi Atanath is saying, okay, you all should come together, right? If someone is dividing, you should be alarmed. People saying you should come together. That's all. I think the call, <clears throat> call for coming together should be welcomed by everyone. I think that, that will be my side. All right. And Sanju Verma, to bring you in on this, uh, taking off from what Shantanu Gupta is saying, what's wrong with uh, a call to coming in together? But, you know, if you actually bring the slogan down, it's not... It is agar batoge to kateoge. Now, in terms of the poll narrative, Sanju Verma, I'd like to ask you, kon kaatega? You know, Preeti, let agar me bat be very, to. very... Preeti ji, aapne sawal puchha, abhi mera jawab suniye. Let's be very clear. When you say batenge to kateenge, it clearly is a metaphor saying that if Hindus continue to be divided on the lines of caste, creed, religion, then electorally they will be vanquished. And I have no qualms in saying that batenge to katenge is a slogan that is resonating on the ground. I want to ask you something. There are so many castes within the Muslim community. And when I say you, I mean your audience. They need to know this. You know, you have Siddiqis, Qureshis, Mansuris, Ashrafs, Ajlafs, uh, Poonawalas, Pasmandas, so on and so forth. But Muslimano ke caste ke baare mein koi baat hi nahi karta hai. And the very Congress which starts giving jan to Hindus ahead of Karnataka Assembly elections, what was the Congress's narrative? Lingayats versus Vokaligas versus Kurubas. In Uttar Pradesh ahead of 2022 polls, what was the narrative? Yadavs versus non-Yadavs. In Maharashtra, what are people from the Congress camp or the Uddhav camp doing on the ground? Marathi versus non-Marathi votes. In Haryana, what was the big raging debate? You know, I was always questioned. You know, but Sanju Verma, Haryana, you guys are not going to win because the Jat polarization is going to adversely impact BJP. The Jats are not going to vote for the BJP. It was all about Jats versus non-Jats. So let's be very clear. Caste equations matter. But now the opposition is stunned because inko lagta hai, ab tak to hum hinduo ko baat kar electoral gains appropriate karte the, but ab batenge to katenge slogan ke baat to hindu ek jut ho rahe hai. Muslim polarization, Muslim appeasement, Muslim consolidation. When Rahul Gandhi does this, what do anchors say? What do the likes of uh, Yogendra Yadav say? What do Congress Darbaris and Rahul Gandhi's retailers like Ashutosh Gupta say? Master stroke hai ji. Ye to master stroke hai. Rahul Gandhi can continue roaming around India saying, 
आपकी जात okay. कौन है बट यदि उसी राहुल गांधी को पार्लियामेंट में पूछा जाए आपकी जात कौन है दर इको सिस्टम इज रैपिड एंड माई लॉक टू बिट्स समी जस्ट लास्ट टू बिट समी हेयर सेट यू नो अमित शाह जी कॉल्ड पीपल घुसपेटिया एज फार एज आई नो एंड बोथ माई इंग्लिश एंड हिंदी आर एब्सोल्यूटली फाइन इलीगल माइग्रेंट को हिंदी में घुसपेटिया ही कहा जाता okay. है देश के अधिकारों right, को क्या फूल would... मा, माला पहनाएंगे क्या वाई यू सो रैपेड इफ अनुराग ठाकुर स्पोक अगेंस्ट देश के गद्दार यू नो यू गाइज नीड टू सी दी राइटिंग ऑन द वॉल यू लॉस्ट हरियाणा यू विल लूज महाराष्ट्र एंड झारखंड बट पीपल लाइक आशुतोष विल कंटिन्यू टू से राहुल गांधी इज द नेक्स्ट बेस्ट थिंग आफ्टर ब्राउन ब्लेड All right. Okay. No. 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 Okay. Sanju Verma, but I have to say this. This was something which was brought over by the Supreme Court as well, and it has been studied as part of hate speech, where Desh ke gadaron ko he didn't say it, he did not complete it. But what was completed in terms of the slogan from the people in that rally, you and I both know better on what was intended. So let's stay clear of that because it's still debatable. Ma'am, there is a case Will going on still in court. But Supreme Court has said about Rahul Gandhi being in that. You know the deal is. The deal is. The deal no, is if if the Congress against Rahul Gandhi, Supreme Court has castigated Rahul Gandhi for not using his words with discretion. Can you speak about that judgment also? I Easy. would, I In would if it comes up. But I'm just telling you, let's stay clear of that. No, you need Because to bring it up. What do you mean? Why would I bring it up in this debate? But it has nothing to do with this debate. I can't. I'm not randomly start talking of something else. But I just want to bring in. I want to bring in Arshdeep Kadyal, spokesperson Congress, into this debate as well. And Arshdeep Kadyal. you might call it communal and even if the bjp has no qualms to say that this is our core vote bank we want to unite the hindus this is our core ideology the problem ashdeep khadial many political analysts feel is politically it is not sound for you because then the samvidhan khatre mein hai narrative falls short of batenge to katenge and the sc then looks at himself or herself more of a hindu than a dalit and that's where the problem for the congress arises well the problem preeti here is not the politics it is that this is a threat to our democracy if this is not dealt with if this is let gone spot free it would set up a precedent and the bhartiya janata party's leaders will make the most out of it and these kind of remarks will become very often they i'll give you a little example 75% of the hate speech events that take place in india are happening in bjp ruled states according to a report and 239 events 36% uh, 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 were basically a direct call for violence and the bhartiya janata party's government doesn't have anything to say on that and number 2 will the election commission of india not say anything over this will they not initiate action against uh, the leaders who are making such remarks and that to a sitting chief minister and then being endorsed by the most senior leaders of the bhartiya janata party will the election commission of india stay mum on this or will a strict inquiry be initiated against mr aditya rath for having baat to bhartiya janata party rahi hai ye baatein karke and the bhartiya janata party needs to but, do but, but, away mr. with mr khadiyal mr khadiyal how is it yes, inciting sir, violence no. how is it inciting how is it inciting I'm violence i in the first segment i talked of section 153a which is promoting enmity between different groups now the bjp okay. government now now the bjp spokesperson 10 seconds sanju verma then i want to go to ashutosh and uh, what we are saying is shantanu gupta can nafrat ki dukaan 10 seconds okay no matter what they do and mohabbat ki dukaan okay sanju sanju verma 10 seconds rebuttal i want to bring in ashutosh and shantanu then you know preeti let us be very clear first and foremost the bhartiya janata party the only pan india party and the world's largest political organization a political juggernaut no less does not need lessons in integrity in caste politics okay. in religious equations in islamophobia or hindu phobia what have you from every tom dick and harry or okay. his uncle on national television All right. and my last point is this my last point is this first ask Very rahul well, gandhi rahul gandhi ko boliye maafi maangne ke liye rajiv gandhi foundation does not have a single dalit okay i just want to bring in ashutosh you want to make a point go ahead and i want to get to shantanu gupta can we just not get into this cross talk ashutosh can i just get ashutosh ashutosh make your point sir quickly on mute sir you are on mute ah priti pehli baat to hum ye do do cheeze hain pehli baat to hum ye samajhna padega ki ye jo batenge to katenge hai ये ये इस नारे ने एक बात तो स्पष्ट कर दी कि भारतीय जनता पार्टी में अगली लीडरशिप योगी आदित्यनाथ की है अमित शाह जी को सोचना पड़ेगा कि उनकी लीडरशिप का क्या होगा क्योंकि आरएसएस ने एंडोर्स किया है 
मोदी के बाद कौन योगी बहुत क्लियर है इस इस पॉलिटिकल मैसेजिंग को हर आदमी को समझना पड़ेगा दूसरी बात क्या है देखिए हिंदू तो हिंदू शादियां हिंदू के आधार पर नहीं करते तो जाति के आधार पर करते हम सब लोग अपनी जातियों को अगर हमारी जाति की एक लड़की किसी दूसरे जाति के लड़के से प्रेम करती है तो गोली मार देते हैं उसको तो लेकिन हम बटे हुए हैं शांतनु गुप्ता वेरी क्विकली ऑन द क्वेश्चन आई स्टार्टेड ऑफ विद विच आशुतोष आल्सो इंस्टिगेटेड नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज शांतनु गुप्ता यू स्टडीड दैट मैन वेरी क्लोजली एंड ही सीम्स टू बी नाउ टेकिंग द प्लेस ऑफ व्हाट आई आस्क्ड यू अर्लियर ऑफ द ट्रू हिंदू हृदय सम्राट व द सैफन ब्रिगेड इज कंसर्न सी प्रीति द अरविंद केजरीवाल एल्क द आशुतोष एल्क दे हैव नो अदर एजेंडा दे विल ट्राई टू से ओह इट्स मोदी वर्सेस अमित शाह Uh, versus Yogi, and that's the clickbait. That's how they run their life. That's how they run their YouTube channels. And thanks to them, unka rozi roti vesi chalta hai. Because apna baat kuch content hai nahi. Okay. Yogi Modi ki ladai lagenge, views aayenge, ghar chalega. Yogi Amit Shah ki ladai lagenge, clicks aayenge, ghar chalega. See, uh, Hindu samaj needed a vocabulary. Yogi itna gave them. Sometimes Hemant Biswa will give them. Sometimes Devan Fernandez will give it. Sometimes Amit Shah will give it. The vocabulary. Hindu samaj needed a vocabulary, but this time Yogi itna okay. gave them. Give them vocabulary in the form of buttingi to cuttingi. All right.